You have no idea how happy I am to see your face. Your father promised that he would fix us. But he never comes in here anymore. If it weren't for that loud bell on the door, then I would have thought that his job had closed months ago. It's so quiet in here. I see occasional cricket or bird, of course. It seems the customers are few and far between. No. How are you? I don't just say good. I really want to know. okay. We were designed to be at peace. So are you. But having flesh and blood makes you forget that. The only thing that could be better is if I worked properly. And Willow's arm was fixed. Lily has a few fractures. I think they make her look even more darling than she was before. I know she would appreciate a repair, though. You're so sweet, Alice. Isn't she sweet? The screws in my arm do need to be tight. See? I don't feel sadness. I would be crushed that Alice doesn't get to sit out in the open and see real people. She deserves it the most of the three of us. She does. Apparently, we're too creepy to be in the shop. What's so creepy about talking dolls? It's not like we're possessed. Well, technically, we are. your glasses. Let me see. They're so cute. Are they new? I guess we haven't seen you in a while. They look incredible. Are you filling in for your dad today? What time is it? Hmm. It's later than I thought. Of course I'm comfortable. I'd rather stay like this than burden you with the task of preparing me. I can see the stress. creepy to you. I would certainly feel something awful inside if you didn't like me. Watching other things with a heartbeat to my you is universal, isn't it? In that regard, I'm just as human as you. I think bizarre is a better word. I'd rather be bizarre than be plain. I agree. There's nothing exciting about blending in. You've always stood out in the most ideal way. No one can replicate your mannerisms. 
your intelligence. The way you fidget with things when you're nervous. uniquely special. Maybe you should. You know. Mm-hmm. How about we go for a walk? It's late enough in the evening that the streets will be empty. Fresh air might clear the fog in your head. And we've got to do something before it rains in your mind. So, has your mind all twisted? Understandable. Before the computer chips were installed, the ones that gave us a voice, we used to belong to a sweet world. Even at a young age, she was a total people pleaser. She had perfect grades, perfect etiquette, was punctual and kind. She did everything that was asked of her and more. The poor thing barely had any say over her. I watched silently as those around her created molds they expected her to fill. And every time, she would melt herself down like chocolate and fill each one of them without complaint. The way this girl could focus and accomplish things was like a machine. One would have thought she was the real doll instead of us. No one around her had any idea how much pressure she was in. One day, she just cracked. And off we went to a charity shop. did find out what happened to her. I tell you this story because I don't want you to crack under pressure, too. I haven't seen you in a while, and I don't know the complexities of what you're going through. 
I just wish you could be at peace. I can say with complete certainty, you've done nothing to warrant a state you're in. always done your best, and that will always be good enough. You are good enough. Your spirit can never truly be broken. There will always be a little piece of it that's beautiful and untouched. Like a hidden clearing in a forest. You'll get through this. Sometimes, you have to crack to let the light in. So beautiful out here, isn't it? Sometimes I sneak out of the window and walk around this quiet little town. Yes, and then I prefer to be. Unless you're involved, I'd rather be around you than be alone.
You feel refreshed. Good. I may just be an electronic doll, but I'm always here for you when you need me. 